Let's see what those harpies were hoarding. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Hmm. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Salutations. Mm. 
Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. And we're happy to be helped. Now, what can I do for you? I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Sure. When we sell it in the city, I'll make sure you get your cut. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? Anything else? You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Never see us coming. When do I get to run the ring scan? Sylphie got caught. We have to lay low for a while. You came! I have... Here! Mole said I should thank you properly for the harpies. So I wrote you a story. It's about you. I hope you like it. We're going to own that town. Any questions, children?
It's quite a sight. The stars, I mean. I could take or leave your chin. I can see the stars from Baldur's Gate, of course, but not with such clarity. It got me thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we arrive at this Gith crash. Will we find out how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Good. I don't want you to run off just yet. You're quite the ally, after all. Traversing Avernus, surviving the crash, surviving everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Yes, we're more similar than I thought. Hmm? Oh, um, I was leagues away. I just need to get some air, clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. I see naught but cowards cowering in their groves and grottos. Flowering meadows and fecund soil have softened their minds and muscles. They rely on strangers' swords when they should be forging their own. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Kalir. Your... Curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in creches all throughout realm space. Kalir is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vaj's command. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brainworms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Courage in danger shadow. I love to see it. But shouldn't the shadow have crept closer? Gone darker by now? Before the Elithids' unscheduled surgery. 
I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Indeed, perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. Go ahead. I'm listening. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. I can't wait to get this thing out of my head. Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? You find a current of hope flowing through her thoughts. She believes you all have a real chance. She's anxious to find this person in Baldur's Gate. Whoever it is has a strong hold over her and can give her something she desperately wants. Yes, vastly so. But I don't want to talk about her. Not right now. It's a beautiful night. I think I'll stay up to enjoy it while I still can. Rest well. something speak it is done well met that's the spirit
días. Anything, any lotions or potions? Hey, bother. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Things have stayed interesting. Was someone there? Wretched thing, pull yourself together. Well, I wouldn't do the best tools. Need anything else? Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need.
time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now, a mere werebear could swat me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us. What festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about some pig? It's dead. The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. But you can't find any sign of a wound. See? Nothing. Come on, we're wasting our time. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry, I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. flesh, and something within you stirs in response. I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured, and I... I wasn't thinking. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Your minds intertwine. 
You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. Mind the true soul. She will... She... She... <sighs> Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. A true soul. Thank the Absolute. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen, like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. What? Are you... are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Oh, I like these two. All zeal and no brains. I'm sorry, true soul. I only repeated what I thought I knew. It seems the Absolute still has a great deal to teach me. We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. We don't know what they look like, but... Anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. You! Brenna! Kill her! Stay idle. <laughs> so the tadpole gives us the ability to influence others. Ignore it. Deny it. This is nothing but a disease, and every use will sicken us further. T nonsense! Any power freely given is a power well received, and this is a valuable power indeed. It's only valuable if we understand it, and we don't. Not yet, at least. My point exactly. I'm so glad you agree. within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. This body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you.
Do you think you can search for you, Blazel? I know they. They pursued the Nautiloid. Perhaps they were trying to free you. A vain notion. I am one of many and will not be a burden to my queen. This mess must be nearby. magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. You should leave it, or even destroy it if possible. This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows, could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. You can sell them for a couple of coins. Ah, it hurts. Worthless. <sighs> that stench. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak, something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. 
self mate. It's a splinter. I've gutted bigger threats than you with worse. A mistake that would cost you your life if you posed any real danger. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. someone who wronged you. Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. <clears throat> it calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully, a thousand times over. Always re- Hmm, good to know. Ever heard of a vampire called Casador? Well, doesn't ring a bell. Why? Patriarch of the Tsar family. Nasty fellow, if the histories are accurate. I imagine they are. Keep moving, stranger. Quietly. I told you to go! You see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. You know my name? Interesting. A predator wouldn't care to learn it. Still, you should go. My friend is injured. He needs rest. Of course he will. And then we'll return home. We were attacked. We're cackling furry things on two legs. And their smell, it was strange, rotten, evil. You know the creatures he describes. Knolls. No, I won't leave him. If it comes to that, I may. Thank you. <laughs> 